How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. Hearing a pop or a click from your knee when you're working out, walking, or just going about your daily activities is nothing unusual. And although this pop might not cause any pain, it's reasonable to be a little curious or even concerned if the noise is dangerous. In this video, I'm going to explain how dangerous knee popping is and what you should do to stop it from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. Knee popping is likely a result of one of two different mechanisms. One of them is caviation, where air bubbles become trapped in the synovial fluid of your knee joint over time, and then pop when the knee bends or extends a certain way, kind of similar to popping bubble wrap. This happens pretty infrequently because it takes time for air bubbles to accumulate in the joint. According to Californian physician Donald Unger, it takes roughly 20 minutes to crack your knuckles again after you've just done it, and your knee joint is very likely to fall into the same category. All in all, caviation is not something I would worry about. However, if you experience a click or a pop every time you bend or extend your knee a certain way, this probably isn't caviation. There's a good chance that one or more structures in your knee joint are not aligned properly. Structures like your kneecap, meniscus, femur, tibia, and fibula are constantly being moved and adjusted by the various muscles interacting with your knee and hip joint. It's kind of like they're all playing tug of war with each other and some muscle groups are pulling a little bit harder than others. This pop can be triggered by a number of different events such as acute or chronic injury, over or under training of muscles, or a series of bad movement patterns formed over time. So is it dangerous when your knee joint pops or clicks repeatedly? In the present moment, not really, but eventually wear and tear caused by improper knee alignment will probably catch up to you in the form of increased injury risk, decreased joint mobility, and pain. I like to compare chronic joint clicking to the check engine light in your car. Just because it's on doesn't mean you can't keep driving it, but if you don't get it serviced soon, you could be looking at a pretty costly repair down the road. Researchers have found that people who experienced chronic knee popping and did nothing to intervene were three times more likely to eventually develop pain in the form of of osteoarthritis than people who did intervene. So what's the trick to stop this? Let's take a closer look. Before we take a closer look, I want to mention that I offer private online personal training. Take your fitness to the next level with expert coaching, customized programming, and accountability you won't find anywhere else. Visit ajsteven.com to book an appointment or learn more about how I can help you become stronger, more mobile, and confident in the gym or in the comfort of your own home. Before doing the right stretches and exercises, you need to figure out which muscles are responsible for most of the noise. The easiest way to do this is to group all muscles that influence the knee joint based on function. I've done this for you here and also ranked them according to which group is most likely to be the source of the problem. You'll notice that hip movers are also on this list. Even though they don't necessarily cross the knee joint, they can still play a role. Next, spend time stretching or mobilizing each muscle group and then retest your knee. The full list of stretches and drills I recommend doing for each muscle group can be found in the description below. Spend at least two minutes stretching and mobilizing that particular group, and then try to compare it to what it sounded like before. If you noticed either a decrease in noise or a complete absence of noise, there's a good chance that particular muscle group is one of the culprits causing the pop. Once you know what group it is, don't necessarily spend all your time stretching it. You should incorporate exercises to strengthen the muscle group as well. Mobility and strengthening go hand in hand, and in order to see fast results, I highly recommend including both. The full list of exercises I recommend for each muscle group can also be found in the description. Feel free to give this method a try and let me know if it worked for you in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.